Hi, my name is Max Laird. I'm a candidate for Superintendent of Public Instruction for the state of North Dakota. I'm an educator. This is where I do my thing every day of the week. It's a job that I've loved for in excess of 20 years. I come to work every day and I work with at-risk students, students who might otherwise not graduate from high school. Our job here is to make sure that they get the best opportunity to have a future that we could possibly give them. It's also why I'm running for this office. This office is extraordinarily important to all students, but it's also important to the students in this room. I believe in my heart that this office requires an educator, somebody who's real, somebody who's delivered curriculum every day right up through taking office. Because I don't think other leaders in this state, other politicians in this state can clearly understand what goes on in the classroom of today unless the person in this office can give them real-time information. I'm really interested in this job because I am a current classroom teacher. In excess of 20 years I've spent in this classroom working with at-risk populations, kids who drop out of the mainstream but still want to graduate from high school. My wife Gail just retired after 32 years in first grade here in the Grand Forks Public School System. We made a decision many years ago that we were going to be both child advocates and public servants. When we decided not to have children, it made a lot of sense to us to move into that arena. And I think we've lived up to that over the years. We've been involved in many, many volunteer activities, both in our community and our region and our state. And I think we've both been child advocates. I have spent most of my career simultaneously working in the classroom and working on education policy. In fact, I'm a bit of a, an anomaly, I think, in society in that I like meetings. Meetings are kind of a fun thing for me. Very few people like them, but I do. I, I started going to school board meetings many years ago, and I found that the policy process was something of interest to me, and I've stuck with it ever since. I also have a job that I like. I like the kids I work with, I like the colleagues I work with, I like the environment of really having a shot at seeing children learn, change, and move forward in their lives. That's what drives me. That's why I'm after an opportunity to work inside of government instead of outside of government where I've spent most of my career. I think somebody with real-time information about real kids can really make a contribution to the public policy decision-making in North Dakota. Again, it plays into my role in the past, that of being both a child advocate and a public servant. It sounds a little hokey, but you know, sometimes that's what we are. We're more real than people even know. That's what I am. That's what I do. That's why I'm here asking for people to vote for a real educator for this office. Today, there really seems to be no communications going on with the public. There's very little information that comes from the department about how we move into the future, what we're going to do to address No Child Left Behind, how we're going to keep from having 100% of our schools in North Dakota under sanction within the next four years. How are we going to address assessments and testing? And how are we going to address the fact that the population of students that we deal with today is different than it's ever been before? More students need more individual attention than we've ever encountered. I think schools should be able to deliver that. My opponent has not addressed that issue at all. His entire career in office is based on things that happened in the 80s. I find that unacceptable. And I hope the voters find that unacceptable. This is an election about real time. Real time meaning today. It's about someone who's current, who understands education, and is ready and willing and able to talk to both the public, educators, and policymakers about the future. The Department of Public Instruction is an institution in North Dakota that is established to, to provide oversight for public schools in North Dakota. It's headed by the superintendent of public instruction. It is a place 
where because of longevity in office, now going on 25 years, a lot of folks have made an entire career out of working in this environment. This is an office that has disconnected itself from the education community, from the public policy community, and frankly, from just about every community in North Dakota. It's an agency that has become a place where people often don't even want to go to work. It's a frustrating situation. This summer, since May, there have been 18 openings in this office. Some of those openings have been filled, some of them have, been, have not. If I was the person running this agency, I'd certainly have to look into a mirror and look at the guy in the mirror and have him look back at me and say, you know, am I on the ownership of some of this problem or am I not? It's my belief that the person in this office today owns a lot of this problem. This is not what should be happening in a state agency in North Dakota. This agency needs to be a place that's exciting to work in, that communicates with its constituency, that delivers a good product, that is enthusiastic about kids and teachers and administrators. That's not the place we have today. Superintendents all over the state talk about things like retribution, a place to stay away from, lousy communications, websites that never change, never getting any information about what's happening or what's coming up. It's a place where people are told no far too many times. This has to change. Whether I'm in this office or not, this has to change. This is a place that is in serious need of reform.